Assalamualaikum everyone My name is Fatina Jeha binti Sul Kafli And my metric number is A190148 So I will present introduction that consists of objective, significant of study The problem of the issues Also the last one is solution for our issues Which is the minimum wage in Malaysia The first is objective So the objective for our issues is To ensure that the basic needs of low wage workers are adequately met As well as to provide them with adequate social protection Which can lead to a higher quality of life The next is significance of study we are focusing on SDG 8 which is decent work and economic growth because SDG 8 recognizes the importance of sustained economic growth and high levels of economic productivity for the creation of well-paying, high-quality job as well as resource efficiency in consumption, consumption and production. The job must be decent with a living wage and workers must have some control over their working hours. For the problem, we found that the employee continues to fail to comply with the implementation of the minimum wage order 2022 because they must pay the additional cost incurred as a result of the increase in workers' basic wages. So, the problem that we are trying to solve is the additional cost that incurred as the result of the increase in working workers' basic wages in following the implementation of the minimum wage policy. The last one is solution. There are three solutions to ensure the enforcement of the minimum wage. The first one is an income check credits. In increasing an income tax credits, offer a solution to a minimum wage increase that don't go far enough to help those who need it most. It would benefit the working poor more than a minimum wage increase. The second is wage subsidy. The wage subsidies would assist working class families in improving their standard of living. The government would pay a subsidy to employers to supplement the prevailing market wage for unskilled or semi-skilled jobs. Subsidies would be income-based and based out as years of experience or promotion increased salary. And the last one is radio, reduce healthcare premium. Reduce in healthcare premium or universal healthcare coverage will eliminate one of the most significant costs that employers face. Employer might offer higher wage to extra and retail workers if they didn't have to spend so much money on employer healthcare benefits. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, Miss. I want to speak about SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis is frequently used alongside other evaluation frameworks such as Pestle and Five Force Porter. Strength. The topic the minimum wages in Malaysia has the strength that an increase in the minimum wages announced by the government and indirectly improved people living standard widely increase the unemployment rate in Malaysia. Rising the minimum wages can also provide motivation and encouragement to work. Witnesses are area that puts a company at a competitive disadvantage compared to the competitor. Increase in the minimum wages will also have a wide range consequences for employees, employer and industry mover. SME entrepreneurs, for example, are severely impacted when they must pay an employee salary while also bearing the high cost of raw material, causing SME to lay off due to high costs and rising unemployment in Malaysia. The opportunity section should emphasize external factors that indicate the full foundation to group of improve, improvement. For example, an increase the minimum wages benefit employees by increase the purchasing power and indirectly increasing the demand and supply of goods. Employee adds to the financial supplies and increase those total serving. A trick is an outside force that poses a risk to a company operation. The minimum wages have posed a trick to Malaysia such as increase in business costs and increase in business layoff. Furthermore, the increase in international Cash flow transaction result for current exchange. A personal analysis is used to identify trick and weaknesses in a SWOT analysis. The policy factor concerns how and to what extent the government invests in a particular economy or industry. For example, the government which in on the Malaysia minimum wages, this is because which increase have both positive and negative impact on the country, namely an increase in living standard and increase in the unemployment rate. Economic factor influence economic performance, economic growth, economic exchange, inflation rate, interest rates, consumer disposable income, and unemployment rate are all factors to consider. The factor may have a long term impact on the company either direct or indirectly because the effect consumer purchasing power and may change the economic demand or supply model. The general environment diminution represents the population demographic, norms, custom, and value. The minimum wages, for example, had policy markers respond to public pressure to combat rising inequality. A rise in the minimum wages benefits some works. 
the factors are related to technology innovation that can positively and negatively impact to the operation industry. The factor may influence the decision to enter or exit a specific sector. For example, increase in the minimum wage significantly reduce the share automated job, help to low skilled workers. This average effect obstacles significant difference by industry and demographic group. This increased minimum wages in particular has significant impact the proportion to auto auto manufacturing job. That's all. Thank you. Hello and good day everyone, my name is Enlia Ina Ponche and my matrix number is L1980124. So, as our issue is the minimum wage in Malaysia, so the business will happen and the greater impact on SME. Why? We also can see nowadays uh, many small and medium sized enterprise like coffee shop and mini market. And of course, this issue will raise the price of food and services. Yeah, this may raise the uh, operational cost. They also has pros and cons in non-business risks. So first of all, is people will increase their earnings. Why? Because the minimum the minimum of wage uh, increase may improve the overall standard living. For example, people may can buy their own things. I mean their needs and want than before. So this may can deal with rising cost of living. And number two is uh, this issue. It is may also increase the cost of livings. This is because raising the minimum wage will likely result in wages all the workers. So this may happen of increasing price. We can say that if the wages increase, the price of product also increase. I can say that when workers receive more money, but the cost of living also increase if price of product also high. Alright, back with this issue, the minimum wage, if the business risks and non-business happen, of course the financial risks also happen. So we have five point days, uh, market risk, credit risk, liquidity risks, operational risks, and last, legal risks. Alright, all of this is about the economy. Why? Because we also know that if the government increases the minimum the wage, it needs effort to fund costs. So if this happens, the employees obviously uh, monthly cost increase. It may sustain economic growth. We also can fit and sweet low. If the employees fail to pay the minimum wage, uh, maximum uh, 10,000 per workers. That's all from me. Thank you for listening. Bye. Hello and good day everyone. My name is Mama Amel Hafiz Benrosli. My meeting number is a 0277 Today I want to present to you about our organization for the minimum wages in Malaysia. First of all, government, after considering the National Wages Consultative Council recommendation and discussing with relevant stakeholders around the country, the government made the final decision on minimum wage level to guide minimum wage rate modification and council has recommended a set of criteria and a formula. Next is Council, the National Wages Consultative Council at 2011 Govern Malaysia Minimum Wage Policy. The National Wages Consultative Council is a three-part council founded to recommend a minimum wage rate to the government, which is the authorized by the government and issued by the minim, uh, Minister of Human Resources. Next is unions. Labor group are pleading with the government to raise the minimum wage and implement reform. Malaysian trade unions praise the in increase in the minimum wages to 1,500 ringgit effective May 1 as a promising start. The introduction of the minimum wages which has which has been put back from the end of the year to May could not have come at a better moment according to the Malaysian Trade Union Congress MTUC. Next is operational plan. We have six operational plan want to present such as project planning, consultation, revenue planning, profitability analysis, uh, personnel planning and also recommendation. First of all is a uh, project planning. We collect and analyze data on minimum wage rate based on factor such as the property line prevailing wage rate as a uh, determined by the labor force survey and socio-economic indicator such as inflation, uh, employ employment figures and gross re regional domestic product among others, ensuring better workers protection. Consultation. Following the National Wages Consultation Council recommendation, the government make the final decision on minimum wage level. It must hold four meetings every year at the very least. Before making suggestion, the council must discuss with the public on the pricing and coverage. Next is revenue planning. Rising the minimum wage will boost consumer spending, benefit businesses' bottom line and help the economic growth. A small raise would boost worker productivity while decreasing employee turnover and absence. It will, it will also benefit the overall economy by increasing consumer demand. Profitability analysis. 
the impact of minimum wages on business profitability is in investigated using the Malaysian labor market implementation of the minimum wages in 2022 as a case study the adopting of the minimum wages resulted in a server decrease in profitability and significant increase in wages personnel planning recruiting and selecting new employees as well as providing effective training before assigning critical tasks such planning in organization ensure that is that is has the appropriate number and type of paper recommendation the government has the option of accepting or rejecting the council recommendation the council may also make suggestion on the minimum wages coverage or exemption from certain sector or region as well as implementation concerns Assalamualaikum and hi to doctor. My name is Naamira Binti Junaidi and my major number is A1 at 8049. I will explain for the purpose of a minimum wage business plan is to contract employees for unfair low pay. Next, the problem that I will try to solve is the additional cost that incur as the result of the increase in workers' basic wage in following the implementation of the minimum wage policy. So, for the main objective is to ensure that the basic needs to low wage workers are required to meet as well as to provide them with adequate social protection which can lead to a higher quality of life. And the last one is our strategy and action plan is we did law enforcement where it is affect employers who fail to pay the salary stipulated in the minimum wage order can be fined up to 10,000 per employee under section 42 national salary protection costly at 372. That is a business enforcement tool for minimum salary. First, protection against retaliation. Employees should have a strong protection to over harassment and retaliation by employees when they report violation. Second is a specialized investigation and enforcement resource. To develop program aim uh, ensure employees comply with the law and also collect and analyze data to identify gap and strategically target efforts one. Third is a community partnership, which theft is exacerbated by employees' fear of retaliation as well as the lack of knowledge of our workplace right and how to report violation. The fourth is a sufficient remedies and penalty, strong non-discretionary -discre uh, penalty for violating local minimum wage law are essential to prevent violation. Strong compensation provision and strong penalty are essential to provide adequate compensation to employees and prevent future violation. Fifth is private right of action that is allowing employees to apply a lawsuit in court to address violation and recover unpaid wage. Employees' rights are always protected by a personal right to act to give them access to the court. And the last one is a credit card care. It shows although the minimum wage in Malaysia is increasing, the earned income tax credit stands for EITC provide tax benefit to law of middle income workers and family. How are we measure for business outcome? Firstly, is cost, which is the employee will bear the cost of the employee basic salary increase that will result from the implementation of the 2022 minimum wage order. Second, employee satisfaction. An increase in the minimum wage to 1,500 per month will have a positive impact and maintain a high level of satisfaction leading to long-term commitment to teams and company. Third is improving efficient is replacing low-skill workers with technology. Another way for employers to increase productivity is by investing in the human capital of their employees by giving them the kind of training that allow them to be more productive. Fourth is market share. Employers recruit and select new employees as well as provide effective training before the employee qualify for the minimum wage. Lastly is a revenue. Employers use technology over manpower to improve company because technology has a more positive productivity effect by making tasks easier and increasing sales revenue. That's all for my part. Thank you. Bye and Assalamualaikum.